Hello, YouTube. Today we're going to talk about hammers. Hammers. Now, I recently acquired this one for my birthday. It was for my birthday. It's not recently. My birthday was in October. But it is the Estwing Long-Handled Geologist Pick. Hammer. Pick. Pick hammer. Whatever they call it. But... A couple days ago, I got this, which I'm not sure if it is an S-Wing or an S-Wing ripoff, because it's got a black handle instead of the usual S-Wing blue, but I know some S-Wing hammers do have black handles. But it is a solid, um, full tang construction hammer. I haven't actually tried using it on anything yet. Because I haven't had anything I need to hammer. But um, if you look very, very closely, you can tell that the face used to be milled. Meaning this is a framing hammer or a rigorous hammer because of how long it is. And let's, let's reintroduce you to an old friend of mine. My six pound sledgehammer handle. Yeah, six. Unless that's a nine, which I'm not entirely sure if it's a six or a nine, and it doesn't show up well on camera. Nah, it's definitely not a nine. It's a six. But I got this because I wanted to get into smithing. But since I obviously haven't shown any smithing content, I'm not into smithing. But that's because I don't have the muns. Well, I kind of have the ones, but I don't have the location. But my brother and I want to get into smithing with each other. I do have a proper cross peen hammer that's out of the living room. That uh, I should have planned this video out better. But you know me, I don't plan stuff. I'm an in the moment guy, usually. I do plan some stuff. Like, I plan to go to Comic-Con this year. Right. That's why I'm saving money. Comic-Con. No trip to Europe. Couldn't afford a trip to Europe for long anyways. At best, I could stay a week in one place in Europe. With the money I have saved. But that begs, to, begs the question, what's the cheapest hotel in Paris? What's the cheapest places in Paris? I would like to see the Eiffel Tower in person one day. I also want to see Big Ben in person. Maybe I should just... Maybe I should go to London first. You know, somewhere where I can understand when people are insulting me. Usually. British people have fun insults. Yeah. Thirsty. No drink. Out of fluids. But yeah. This one that I got on Friday. Yeah. So three days ago. My brother said it's weighted wrong because it's rather handle heavy. But. Swinging it, it feels right. It feels like the head is impacting with the right amount of... The head is swinging with the right amount of force. And... Aside from the... Milled face being practically non-existent, it's in great shape. I got it at the Habitat for Humanity store for 8 bucks, And it does have the remains of... Either very dark blue or black paint on it in places. I'm not going to show the camera because my camera can't pick it up. Because my camera on my laptop isn't very good, which is what you're, I'm recording with, obviously. Because it's a stationary message. Hmm. Un momento. Oh, it's Facebook gratification. No, I'm not giving out my Facebook. 
if you know me on Facebook and I gave you my YouTube channel, then cool. But if you know me on YouTube and you try to find me on Facebook, I'm not going to be happy. Namely because my Facebook has my actual name and my location. Not my address, but my location. Which, hell, I don't really care about that either. I don't have a P.O. box. I've been thinking about it. But I don't have enough fans to warrant getting a P.O. box. That's something you do when you have like a thousand subscribers and you ask for and you try to start like giveaways and stuff like that. Or you ask for stuff to review. Oof. But, yeah. What else was I going to talk about? Was it just the hammers? Yeah. Um, this one, while it may say pick end for prying only on it, it does work as a um, pick a room or hook a room. Or wood grabber, I think, is one of the words that it sticks out as the most as. You, sh you hammer it into a piece of wood and it picks up the piece of wood. The piece of wood stays on the end. You put it on your wood pile, you shake it a bit, and the piece of wood comes off. Usually. If it sticks in the piece of wood. Sometimes it doesn't stick in the piece of wood because, like it says, it's not designed for that. But, yeah. Uh, sorry, I've got a bit of a cold still. My nose is congested. Hell, I should probably do something about that. I've been, I've been coughing rather violently every day since August. If I don't have COVID, I can still smell and taste. And what I have isn't contagious, obviously. It may just be weird allergies. But what the hell am I allergic to that's in my room? Since I spent almost all day in my room. And let's go out into the wild. Into the unknown. Everyone's got their unknown. But someday I'd like to leave the country. And explore. I'd probably have to win the lottery to do it. Yeah. I'm rambling again. This time more than usual. But who wouldn't like to see some new places? Hell, I'd settle for seeing New York. But I wouldn't want to go alone. I'd take my brother with me. New York, Chicago. He's been to Boston. It was part of the school thing. He ended up acting as a chaperone because he was over 18. A year. But, yeah. Oh, I got some gaming headphones. Just because. Proper gaming headphones. They're Turtle Beaches. They were on sale for like 25 bucks. Or 30 bucks. But I figured I'd probably, I should probably grab that because last time I saw Turtle Beaches that cheap, they were the ultra basic Turtle Beaches where it was just one earbud and a mic and a little plastic thing that sits above your ear on this side. And that was 20 bucks. And it was... Ugh. It was not a good deal for 20... At 20 bucks. It wouldn't have been, It might have been a good deal at 7 bucks. <laughs> but at 20 bucks, one earbud and a piece of plastic clipping into your... Into what, the side of your head above your ear. Which, it wasn't tight enough to, like, leave a mark. But... It also wasn't necessarily long enough for my head, because I got a big freaking head. I wear a triple XL hat, 
and my my freaking forehead is flat, so I have to get soft hats like my. Where's my booty? I don't know where my one hat is that I actually bought because it was a triple XL hat and soft and yeah. Is it, a, is it boonie? I think it's called a boonie hat. Like, the army uses them with the floppy edges. Not the firm edges like the Australians have, but the floppy edges that it just hangs down just above your eyebrows on the end. Well, it sits above your eyebrows and hangs down a little bit. Uh, I'm going to have to look for that later now that I think about it. That's going to take some time. But, yeah, I milked a, conversa a movie about three hammers to 11 minutes long. Thank you for watching. If you did stick along, stick with it this long, perhaps you'll subscribe. Give a like, dislike, comment. Have a nice day. Goodbye.